Hi guys, hope you are doing well. I want to welcome you all in this video series that is Aircraft Explained ATA Wise and in this video I am going to explain ATA 10 that is Parking, Storage, Mooring and Return to Service of the Aircraft. First of all, I will explain you what these terms means because it is very necessary to understand why they are described together in one ATA chapter that is ATA 10. So parking means whenever your aircraft is arrived on a parking bay for any reason, for any delay or for any maintenance, for any modification, if you have temporarily stored it for some time like one hour, two hour, one week, one month, then it is called parking of the aircraft. Okay. Storage of the aircraft means if your aircraft is having major problem like any major maintenance or any major modification in that case you will store the aircraft for more than one, one month it can be two month three month one year two year so in that case when you are storing the aircraft for long term it is called storage of the aircraft. Okay, and while storing, if you have got some news or you have got some information like weather can be adverse, like high wind can be there, snow hill can be there, or anything if can be there, then you will secure the landing gears of the aircraft with the help of ropes. That is called mooring of the aircraft. Okay, so because of any reason, if you have parked the aircraft or if you have stored the aircraft, you have moored the aircraft. After doing that reason requirement, like if you have stored it for modification or maintenance, so after the modification or maintenance, you are going to fly this aircraft again, right? So in that case, you will have to perform lot of maintenance and lot of checks so that you can declare that the aircraft is ready to fly. And if you have declared that aircraft is ready to fly, this condition is called return to service. So this is the meaning of these four terms. Now the question is why we are studying all these as an aviator and what are the requirements of it okay so i have already explained you in case of any maintenance or modification we will store the aircraft generally but there is one more condition like while doing any maintenance you have find that you have to take a new component to install on the aircraft but the manufacturer of that component is not ready to provide you that component because of the shortage of the component or any other reasons can also be there Okay, so in that case you will have to park the aircraft or you can have to store the aircraft for longer times so that you can get that component once it will be installed on the aircraft it can be ready to fly. So as an aviator whenever your aircraft is parked, stored or anything you have you are doing on the aircraft you will have to take care of it while uh, by doing maintenance checks. Okay, so if like in aviation there are a lot of maintenance checks like if you are storing the aircraft for even one day you will have to uh, do some maintenance check to ensure that your aircraft is ready to fly. Likewise for one day, for three days, for seven days, for one month, for one year so there are lot of maintenance checks. Even if your aircraft is not flying, it is in part cut park condition also. You will have to ensure the airworthiness of the aircraft, and for that you will need to check the systems of the aircraft. You need to check the whole aircraft so that you can ensure that aircraft is ready to fly. Even the recent example, if you want to take, whenever uh, when that uh, COVID-19 came, whole aircraft, uh, whole world has just stopped the airline operations. In that case, all over the world, aircrafts are stored, air, aircrafts are parked. So in that condition also, technicians and AMEs are going to the aircraft so that they can ensure that aircraft is ready to fly whenever all these restrictions will be over. So because of that, we will use all these terms like parking, mooring and storage. So there are a lot of procedures and a lot of pro precautions given by the manufacturer according to their aircraft. Like Airbus has their own procedures, Boeing has their own procedures, even in the manufacturers, different aircraft models like Airbus 320 will have different procedure, aircraft 330 will have uh, different procedure, Boeing 777 will have different procedure. So according to their aircraft maintenance manual, whenever you will take that aircraft maintenance manual and you will go inside that ATA 10, you will get all this procedure, how you can park and store the aircraft. Okay. So there can be differences, but the general things is you have to secure the aircraft like there are in all the aircraft you will find the pitot static system like pitot tubes and static ports so if you are parking the aircraft for more than one one day also you will have to secure that point like choke should be installed you have to secure the engine inlet and exhaust area as you can see in figure also so all these things you will have to take care whether you are doing for one day or for one year 
okay so all these are general processes if you are doing some major maintenance or modification you will have to uh, take care of soaring and all that i have already explained you in uh, previous videos so all these things should be followed whenever you are parking or storing the aircraft and when your requirement completes you want that your aircraft should be fly again in that case there is a higher checks there are a lot of maintenance checks that you have to perform to ensure that your aircraft is ready to fly once your aircraft maintenance engineer will declare that aircraft is ready to fly in that condition only you can fly the aircraft and this condition is called return to service because an ame will sign cr is that is certificate of release to service that means aircraft is ready to Okay, so this is a very basic idea what ATA 10 is and what the parking, storing and mooring of the aircraft is. If you find the video is helpful, please like it, subscribe it and share with everyone so that everyone can get the 